No, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong, especially you. You're supposed to do the same amount of chirps as... No, you, oh, you've you got to add the... Hang on, I'm going to call Robert again. Hello? Yeah, hi, Robert. Guys, can you be quiet, please? I've got Robert Crowich on the phone from, get this, CBS Sunday Morning. OK, OK, Dabchick, what seems to be the problem? Yes, yeah, so I remember that equation that you taught me? Yes. Well, they forgot it, and then I forgot it, but I wouldn't have forgotten it if they okay, hadn't okay, confused okay, me. Okay, with... We'll just do this again then, only much more slowly this time, so maybe it will stick. As I told you before, there is an insect in your backyard that can uncannily tell you the temperature as well as any human thermometer. Thermometer, yes, that's right, sorry. Guys, go grab a thermometer. No, 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 I don't want, I don't want a thermometer, that's the point. Uh, okay. Good, we don't need it. Because the insects that I was talking about... Crickets. Crickets have something that no thermometer has. They've got a pair of, you know this, come on, a pair of... They're hopeless, Robert. I, this is what I've been dealing with for the last... Wings. Crickets have wings. And on these wings, they've got these little bumps that they rub together to make a chirping sound. Well, they do have wings, but I, I don't think they're crickets. I don't know what they're supposed to be. No, wait, wait. Don't, don't we have a cricket substitute that I showed you the other... Oh, yeah, the... the, the... Guiro. It's called a guiro. This is a Caribbean instrument that very closely mimics the chirping sound of a backyard cricket. So, if you rub the bumps... Ah, exactly. Now we can show you how a backyard cricket tells us the temperature just as well as any human thermometer using a very plain, very simple formula. Which, which, I, which I forgot. Which you forgot. Okay, so, so let me refresh your memory. In 1897, a physicist called Amos Dobert published a paper which said if you count the number of chirps that a cricket makes in 15 seconds... Okay, the amount of chirps in 15 seconds. Yep, and then you add the number 40... At 40? Uh-huh. You will have the accurate outdoor temperature in Fahrenheit right where you are. And this works. Okay, now, now it's coming back to me. You remember it now. I do, but, but let's do this quickly before I forget it again. The night is warm. You're lying in your bed, but there's an insect tying cacophony that's pounding on your head. The window's open, you can hear the chirp. Chirping sounds so clear you give up on counting sheep and count the cricket sounds instead. Start the clock, that's one, that's two, that's three and four and five and six and seven. Sure, we all know how to count. But have you heard of Dolbear's Law? It states that after 15 seconds, and we're a good way there, I reckon you add 40. And that's right, that's the temperature in Fahrenheit. Stop the clock, and what was that? 32, let's do the math. 72 is the sum once you've added 40 on, and there you have it. Ain't that smart? And if you learn this tune by heart, then you can tell how hot or cool it is from the critters in your yard. Oh, hang on, no, we shouldn't finish yet. Woo, come back, come back. Thank you. Um, Robert, are there some instances where this calculation is ineffective or inaccurate? Well, Dabchick, you see, uh, crickets are cold-blooded creatures, so when it's warmer, they have more energy, and when it's colder, they have less energy. So if the temperature is dropping, they're going to get more sluggish and chirp slower and slower and slower until at around 50 degrees, they just they just stop. Uh-huh, okay. So cricket thermometers break down at around 50 degrees. And when it gets hotter? Ah, well, a high temperature can cause a couple of problems too because the hotter it gets, then the faster the crickets are going to chirp. And when you get from, you know, 95, 97, 98 degrees, they're gonna be chirping at such a furious pace, it isn't good for their health. Oh, we, we got a little uh, situation here. Is everything okay? Uh, don't know. Well, maybe just another victim in the noble pursuit of science. Oh, he's fine. Probably.